in today's video let's discuss about the transformer inverse and damage curve here in this power system network uh, this relay settings are already provided and there is a transformer this transformer is 7.5 mb transformer and this 33 kb by 6.9 kb there is an update from this channel youtube channel smart to care thanks for your continuous support so if you go to the youtube smart to care channel here as you can see all the videos videos are posted and you can check out freely so this will be helpful particularly for electrical engineers there are some basics there are some advanced level technical discussions which are already available so a lot of videos are available here as you can see etap software and this is the dialect software also autocad autocad is also available so different types of videos you can find out here just to update you can see this join channel uh, this join button here if you if you are happy and if you want this channel to grow continuously then you can you can join here also there is the join button if you click this is the silver button you can join uh, in terms of very small amount on monthly basis subscription you can get the loyalty badges also gold scheme is available diamond is also available if you if you want on the priority basis your comments reply or any other support from for the uh, you know from the um, uh, practical some practical projects if you need some native files uh, excel spreadsheets all these all these supports will be available if you uh, so in that case you can join join also if you check any if you if you check out any video here also you can see here also you can see this join button so the the same here also you can join and uh, if you if you want to contribute anything uh, just to grow this channel so there is a super thanks this feature is also available now so whatever uh, you want you can contribute so based on your consideration so it's up to you you can buy and uh, send so that uh, your name your comments will be highlighted in all the cases and also uh, this channel the, this channel can grow so this was this was a small update from this channel so thanks for your continuous support anyway you can get all the free youtube uh, videos here so i'll continue definitely thanks for your support maybe transformer and uh, whenever we are going to uh, do the protection protection coordination uh, system for the uh, transformer primary side and secondary side uh, we need to we need to take care uh, of the transformer in rust currents as well transformer in rust and damage curves also so let's let's start this uh, discussion now okay so whatever settings are provided here i have already covered in separate video how to coordinate this transformer primary side relay and based on that the uh, the data are put here the uh, pickup 51 51 and this pickup time dial everything is there so i am not really going to change any setting this primary and secondary side the only thing uh, we will we will create one new tcc we will create one new tcc just to check the transformer in rust and damage curve so let's create the tcc here okay so in this in this tcc as you can see this 
this is uh, delay 6 that means transformer primary side this is transformer primary side really and this is transformer secondary side this is transformer secondary side yeah yes now you can see this uh, okay let's remove this uh, uh, let's shift this SLD here now it's clear you can zoom in zoom out like this you can adjust okay so this is relay 6 relay 6 curve and this is relay 7 curve so whenever we are going to coordinate this overcurrent release 50 and 51 that time we need to take care of this transformer in rust and damage curve so this is transformer this is transformer damage curve transformer damage curve this is 7.5 mba transformer and 8.35 percent is uh, impedance this secondary side uh, delta star resistance grounded and this <clears throat> this damage curve is defined by the withstand time of two second this is the uh, this is the standard value okay and now this is the in rush this is transformer in rush this is transformer in rush if we look closely inrust multiplier is eight times of transformer full load current duration six cycles okay now this protection this secondary relay that means relay 7 relay 7 setting should be this over current coordination shooting uh, this setting should be like this that it should be it should be above the above the transformer in rust because during switching during switching the transformer it will draw some uh, in rust uh, current there will be some in rust in the system so that time it should not uh, that uh, that any any type of malfunction or any type of uh, spurious stripping should be avoided so the transformer should be energized without any without any um, uh, without any restrictions from the uh, uh, over current relay element and 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 it should be below the transformer damage curve this coordination this relay coordination curve should should uh, should be placed above the transformer in rust current and below the transformer damage curve in between these two and now the question is coming this relay uh, how it it will it it can go towards towards up uh, that means towards towards this damage curve or or towards this in rust so preferably preferably we should avoid uh, we should avoid towards this transport damage curve because it should be well below the transport damage curve but it's just just we need to clear this transformer in rust just we need to clear this transformer in rust so this curve can be placed just after the just after the transformer in rust and well below the transformer damage curve to avoid any transformer damage or any in that uh, transformer lifespan so this is placed suitably this coordination is fine now this transformer damage curve we cannot change because here this is the withstand duration for two two seconds this depends on the transformer impedance as well transformer rating and impedance based on this it will calculate uh, this uh, transformer damage curve and here the transformer in rust in rust if we double click here we, uh, we can go to the transformer editor and here you can see there's the 8 per unit the power unit value 8 to 12 times as per IEEE 242 also this uh, this primary transformer primary current this value can go from uh, 8 to 12 times of transformer uh, full load current so let's say if we change this as 10 if we change this 
you can see here in the curve this is shifted this is shifted here so this is the inverse so in that case in that case you need to you need to coordinate you need to push this curve above this 50 51 this uh, uh, coordination curve above like this so this value this value will come this uh, transformer and this magnetizing in RAS, this will come from the this recommendation will come from the transformer oem this uh, manufacturer that recommended value will come we need to set this value you can get from the transformer data sheet or you can request the uh, oem and here is the cycle here is the cycle this is six cycle uh, it have default value okay so likewise it will calculate it will calculate and it will show it will show the um, transfer in rust transfer in rust here and you need to coordinate so the main thing is that the coordinate that coordinating uh, relay curve should pass in between this transformer in rust and transfer damage curve it should be above the transfer in rust curve and and below the transformer damage curve so it was a very brief uh, information but uh, i think it will be it will be helpful as well mm. any more thing uh, okay magnetizing in rust it can be point or piecewise like this or it can be equation there are three three options available so this is the point in rust and here thermal withstand duration this is two second this is two second you can uh, we have plotted this uh, we have displayed this on the tcc uh, plot that's why okay so protection and here magnetization from here also you can change under this magnetization tab from here also you can change likewise it is changing okay so in this manner you need to check you need to uh, check this transformer in rush and uh, damage curve uh, whenever you are going to uh, do the uh, overcurrent coordination thanks for watching this video